and today I'm going to introduce you to a new set of irons and from a brand that I've never had in my mitts ever before. They are made from the softest S25C carbon steel. It's an interesting makeup, it's an interesting blend in terms of forgiveness, it's an interesting face in terms of how forgiving they suggest it is pretty much right across that club face and I'll be certainly putting that theory to the test in today's video. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that would have been a nice birdie. The brand is Vega. Uh, it's, like I said, a Japanese premium brand, and they make an interesting lineup, let alone what we're going to look at today. I think before we go any further, just take a look at some of these other offerings that they've got in terms of their drivers, their fairway woods, and their iron lineup, because I'll be honest with you, it's quite unique. I'm sure you'll agree an interesting lineup and quite unique in the way those clubs look in particular that driver priced at 699 quid it looks like something out of Star Wars and I'd be really interested to see just how well that thing performs but today it's all about irons but more interestingly it's about forged irons and more interestingly than that it's about forged cavity back irons that's not something you see very often So you know that's the first wedge of the morning, um, a tad left of flag, but maybe more importantly what I want to feel is that forged element in the short end of the bag. It was nice, it was like I said, I'm going to rant on about this throughout the video, cavity back forged, what am I feeling? Well that wedge at least, it was pretty soft and good. Right, so in this set that we've got, which is the Mizar Plus, they go from 4 through to A wedge. Now the 4 is 20 degrees, a really strong lofted 4 iron, and the A wedge is 46 degrees. So we are strong lofted throughout the bag, but there's an opportunity to blend these sets as well with two other models within this lineup, and I think that's a key factor. These are, to all intents and purposes, as we keep saying, a game improvement iron. At this end of the bag, 46 degree wedge, it's too big for me personally in this plus range, but there are opportunities to blend, like I said, into the Mizar Tour range as well. That's a real high loft. I mean, it's 46 degrees, but it really pops the ball up really high, which I suppose you'd expect it to. But the interesting thing is even down at this end of the bag, I've referenced it already, is the fact that they've got good feel. I said these are they're quite big. I mean, the profile of them in sort of overall profile at address is big, but they play with a certain kind of finesse as well. So it doesn't feel like you're playing with what is really the Mizar Plus. It's definitely what you class as that game improvement iron, maybe even that category of super game improvement iron in terms of its size. But like I said, it's got a little bit of style, a little bit of finesse and a little bit of feel about it that you don't normally find in that category of iron. So you know what's interesting, the feel of these things is, um, whilst not being super soft in the way that you might expect from forged, they have got a great feel to them. But there's an explanation for that, and there's two versions that I've already alluded to, and that is I've got the Mizar Plus, which is a bigger profile, like I said, game improvement style iron, but you've then got the Mizar Tour, which is a more compact player's iron, as they call it. There's also a difference in the face. This is a marriaging steel face that's inserted onto this one piece carbon steel forged body. And that's different from that of the Tor, which is that S25 carbon steel face, which will be undoubtedly much softer. I just wished I had both to compare side by side because for me, already what I'm thinking is that I would want to be maybe longer irons, mid irons in this kind of profile and body where you've got more forgiveness, again, more confidence from that uh, bulkier style, if you like, but then switching up into the shorter irons, maybe from eight into that A wedge. I would like to see what that S25 carbon steel face feels like, just how soft it is. And for me, you're then getting to put together a set of irons that really starts to work. You've got the feel and you've got the finesse around the short end of the bag, and then you've got the help and forgiveness that you want at the long end of the bag. The good thing they do is they look identical, so it's perfect in terms of blending, and the loft throughout both sets is also identical. So again, perfect for blending. I just wished I had that tall model in hand to just to see how much difference there is in terms of feel. What has been noticeable is the uh, the consistency because again this is the type of iron category where you're expecting some fast ball speeds and sometimes maybe a little inconsistent ball speed. 
But what I've noticed in the ball again there, that was a seven iron, interestingly enough, the ball flight has been good. It's what you'd expect again, 30 degrees in terms of the loft on this. It's launching as I'd expected to. Um, but again, distance covered. We've played in at 150 again here with a seven iron. And it's been, that's the number I've been working from in terms of whether I've been playing wedge through to four iron. 150 is the seven iron being a barometer. And my gapping has been good. And like I said, it seems to have been very consistent. I can't really tell in terms of overall performance in terms of spin because the greens are soft this time of year. So it doesn't tell me a great deal, but obviously the balls are stopping where they're landing and pitching right now. But, you know, you, you get to a situation where it's another set of irons where what, what you're trying to find in a review perhaps is not only what's good about them but what's bad about them the only thing for me at the moment is the fact that this profile doesn't suit my eye but I'm not testing it for me I'm testing it as a, uh, a club for potential average other average golfers out there who want this kind of profile so that's not a negative it's just not for me it's just just too bulky and like i said i'd also like to feel that softer face that s25 carbon steel face in the tour version right so we've reached that part of the review where i've uh, hit as many balls as i need to i've relayed as much information as i possibly can in terms of what i found here out on the fairways which is uh, where it really matters so it's time for my overall assessment I think first of all we'll go back to the beginning almost which is how these things look it's a very unique look and i think that is going to be very much a marmite type of product in, in in other words either love it or hate it so it's a visual aspect that you're going to have to like first of all i like this idea that we touched on that it's a forged cavity back iron which there's not too many of them about it's very much got a sort of refined feel to it if not all out super soft forged it's then this club in particular the plus version is a little bit bulky and like i said already not for me but i think the blend or the idea of possibly blending those two sets between the tour and the plus is a fantastic idea the performance has been really good the performance has been really consistent and uh, there's not a lot more really for me to say there's a price tag that is attached to these things which is often the case with premium japanese forged clubs and it's a pretty hefty one as you can see so that's also something you're going to need to consider as to whether or not these become on your wish list or not right i think i've got everything covered there thank you to harden golf club for having us because uh, it's been a real nice day i've also been filming my uh, playing of nine holes with these irons in the bag and uh, we're getting towards the end of that as well so keep your eye out for that it's a full nine holes here at Harden golf club and we'll also take a little bit of a closer look at the golf course itself right as ever thank you for watching and i'll see you all soon